Welcome back to your Carolina presented by Hambricks. We're outside here at Camperdown Plaza to tell you about a really cool young entrepreneurial program that the Children's Museum of the Upstate has done. They had a big fair with about 30 uh, entrepreneurs of the young age. And Tori's here to tell us some more about it. We're going to introduce you to some of the entrepreneurs as well. Good to see you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so Jesse, tell me a little bit about um, this event. What made this come together? Like, did you just notice that they were like, a lot of entrepreneurs that were pretty young maybe didn't have a place to showcase and you said let's get them all together. So actually we worked with the community tap. Um, they have hosted a young entrepreneur market for a couple years. We have a retail store at the museum mm -hmm. so we reached out to them and said can we work with you. Right. So this past May we actually went to their market and some of the entrepreneurs that are here with us today were there and then in July we got to host our own young entrepreneur market at the museum where young entrepreneurs we had about 30 come out and mm -hmm. show their products and now we have some of those with us today. I, I love that you guys are doing this because the, there obviously we have Greenville has a, a lot of entrepreneurs but you don't I ever think about the younger ones and where they get started and how they can develop that craft and share that creativity so I'm glad you guys are hosting this and for folks that missed out on this will there be other opportunities to do this in the future? Or? Yeah we are the community tap will continue doing their market in the fall and then we hope to do it again next summer so definitely stay tuned um, it's been received super well by the community by our shoppers and the museum Mm -hmm. and we just want to be able to support all the young entrepreneurs in our community. Awesome. I want to introduce to yeah. some of these young entrepreneurs. Emma, we're going to start with you. Introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you what you create. So I am Emma Bogle. Um, I sell 3D printed objects. My business actually started with polymer clay earrings, but then we got a new 3D printer that printed really detailed products, and I thought that would be gr a great way to make some new things to sell. And so I moved into printing um, these little sets here and then later decided to make larger versions so like the animals there yeah these are these are really cool so at the market i'm guessing you were able to sell some of these yes, and did definitely. you sell any did people come and buy some yes i sold a lot of products at the market and where can people find uh, can they find these online or do you have a, a, anything set up that people can go and purchase them if they're watching right now and want to buy some um, so people can go to the Children's Museum and buy them there in their store, or they can go online and buy them on the Children's Museum website. Awesome. Well, congratulations, and thank you for coming on and showcasing some of your work. Really cool stuff. So definitely go to the Children's Museum and, and buy some of that. Uh, Miss Savannah here, introduce yourself. I'm eight years old, and I made sunglasses, and I love the one that says girl power, and I love all my glasses. You love all your glasses. Is that how it started for you with just saying, hey, you know, i got to bring the style when I walk out of the house and have a good, a good pair of sunglasses empowers you, right? So it's good to be able to have that. So you, your favorite one is the one that says girl power. They all say something different. This one says cool dude, the girl power one over there. So uh, what is your favorite, I mean, outside of the girl power one, do you have a favorite pair of sunglasses that, that you like? No. She's like, I'm going to think about that one. Maybe she hasn't created it yet. It, it, could, it could come up. So definitely go and get a pair of sunnies as you head into Labor Day weekend. Desiree is on the end there. Introduce yourself. I'm 12 years old, and I love to crochet. I started when, about a year ago when I was working with just smaller yarn, and then I realized I could start selling them, and it has just been so fun. So I decided to um, get YouTube, Instagram, and selling them on Facebook. And you can also buy them on um, the Children's Museum page. Awesome. Do you have a favorite uh, creation here that amongst your, your, your things? I definitely think this one, <laughs> this little cow and the sea turtle was one of my two favorites. And how long does it take you to do like the sea turtle? How long would that take? That one took a while since it had to color change a lot. It took about, I think, three hours, if not more. Wow. Three, three hours seems like a short amount of time. You must work really fast. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming on and showcasing your beautiful work. Uh, tell us one more time, Jesse, where we can go and, um, and buy these and keep up with all the things going on at the Children's Museum. Absolutely. So you can come into the museum located at 300 College Street, or you can shop online, www.tcmupstate.org. Awesome. We'll be sure to put that link for you at our website, yourcarolina.tv. Thank you, guys. Keep making stuff. I was not doing anything like this at, at that age. So congratulations to all of you.